Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Eternal love of the Father and the Son, kindly bestow on us the fruit of charity, that we may be united to you by divine love, the fruit of joy, that we may be filled with holy consolation, the fruit of peace, that we may enjoy tranquility of soul and the fruit of generosity, that we may give without counting the cost. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. A scholar of the law said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, A man fell victim to robbers as he went down from Jerusalem to Jericho. They stripped and beat him and went off leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the road, but when he saw him, he passed by on the opposite side. Likewise, a Levite came to the place, and when he too saw him, he passed by on the opposite side. But a Samaritan traveler who came upon him was moved with compassion at the sight. He approached the victim, poured oil and wine over his wounds, and bandaged them. Then he lifted him up on his own animal took him to an inn and cared for him. The next day, he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper with the instructions, take care of him. If you spend more than what I have given you, I shall repay you on my way back. Which of these three, in your opinion, was neighbor to the robber's victim? He answered, the one who treated him with mercy. Jesus said to him, go and do likewise. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Many of us have seen the movie Titanic with Kate Winslet and Leonardo DiCaprio. And we will remember the scene when the ship hits the iceberg and people begin to flee, heading to the lifeboats and trying to save themselves. And the musicians make a conscious decision. Instead of fleeing with the rest of the passengers, they will stay and continue to play their music, trying to bring a sense of calm, a sense of peace to an otherwise hectic situation. They willingly offer their lives so that they can bring peace and calm to others in an otherwise terrible situation. A true example of generosity. We get another example in our gospel story today, the Good Samaritan. Now, Samaritans and Jews at the time of Jesus were bitter rivals. They despised each other. They looked down on each other. So in the story, when we have the victim who's been robbed, it's shocking that the priest and the Levite, although moved with pity, don't do anything to help the victim. They're too busy being concerned about their own ritual purity. The Samaritan, on the other hand, moved with compassion, stops his traveling, binds up the wounds of the injured victim, carries him to an inn, takes care of him for the day, and when he leaves the next morning, pays so that the man continues to receive the medical care he needs. The Samaritan put aside his time in order to help this victim, and he put his resources forward to make sure that this individual was taken care of in his time of need. Generosity is one of the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Generosity is a willingness to share what we have, our time, our talents, our money, our presence, with those around us who need it, be they family members, friends, strangers, 
or even enemies. In our baptism, we receive the Holy Spirit. And throughout our lives, we are called to cultivate the gifts and the fruits of the Holy Spirit in our lives. As followers of Christ, Christ serves for us as an excellent model of the fruit of generosity. Throughout his public ministry, we see over and over where Jesus exudes generosity for those that are in need. We see him forgiving the sins of sinners, multiplying bread and fish in order to feed the hungry, welcoming social outcasts, casting out demons, and ultimately dying on the cross so that salvation could become possible for each of us. In the hustle and bustle of our lives and in the competitive and self-centered society in which we live, it is often the case that the me first mindset or the every man or every woman for him or herself creeps in. And this is especially true in times of difficulty and tribulation. Times when people figure we need to circle the wagons, we need to protect ourselves. And while that is important, Jesus and the Good Samaritan challenge us that in times of difficulty, especially in times such as these, where we are dealing with the COVID situation, we need to look outside of ourselves. We need to see how can we be generous? How can we bring our time, our talents, our resources, our presence to those in our world who need it? And so I offer you some practical suggestions for ways that we can show generosity in our lives, especially during this time of COVID. First, we can intentionally pray for those that are dealing with the virus, those that are on the front lines that are treating them, those that have been economically affected by the situation, those that are living in fear. And in particular, we can pray for parts of the world that are being decimated by this virus such as India. Secondly, many people are underemployed or are unemployed due to the virus. Maybe we can share what we have, clothing, food, money, household goods, collecting these things and providing these things for people who are in need. Third, Many people are experiencing tremendous loneliness during this time, having been isolated from other people. Maybe we can reach out to them by visiting them in person, calling them on the phone, texting them, sending them an email or through social media. But by reaching out to them, we can dispel the darkness and the loneliness that they are feeling in their lives. Many people have experienced death during this time of the coronavirus. Friends or family members, co-workers have died from the virus and people are in mourning. Maybe we can offer the gift of a comforting presence, a listening ear, a shoulder to cry on to those that are experiencing loss. And finally, we can help those who want to receive the vaccine. There are those in our world who want to receive it, but are having difficulty registering for it, maybe due to lack of internet access, or they have transportation issues that prevent them from getting to vaccine sites. Maybe we can donate our time to help these individuals to register for the vaccine and or arrange for transportation for them so that they can go and receive the vaccine that they desire. The musicians on the Titanic, the Good Samaritan, and Jesus himself 
serve as excellent models for us of the fruit of generosity. This Pentecost, may we ask the Holy Spirit to deepen this fruit in our lives so that instead of being me first people, we can be people who exude generosity and willingly share with those who need it. The response for our intercessions will be, Lord, hear our prayer. That God will help each of us to grow in generosity so that we will be willing to give all for our brothers and sisters. Whenever we are called upon to do so, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish, that we may cultivate welcome, extend hospitality, and encourage the participation of all people and all cultures, ethnicities, and backgrounds. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For solidarity in all our human family, that we may work together to protect those who are most vulnerable and in need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who suffer the consequences of the current pandemic, that God the Father may grant health to the sick, strength to those who care for them, comfort to families, and salvation to all the victims who have died. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to the violence perpetrated by harsh words, deadly weapons, or cold indifference. May our homes, our nation, and our countries around the world become havens of peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, infuse me with true generosity. Teach me to serve others as you want me to serve them, to give without counting the cost, to toil without seeking my own comfort, to labor without seeking a reward, except in knowing that I do God's holy will. Like the Good Samaritan, help me to be willing to give all for my brothers and sisters whenever I am called upon to do so. Please help me to grow in generosity. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.